Welcome to the short training video on how to write off customer invoices in NetSuite. This video is presented to you by Business Solution Partners. Today I'll give you an overview of the due diligence process you should go through before you write off customer invoices. I'll show you how to search for customer invoices in the AR Agent Report. I'll show you how to create the write-off journal entry and how to apply it to the invoice you want to clear. And finally, I'll show you how to review the AI agent report to ensure the invoice written off is no longer showing in the report. The assumption is that you have done a due diligence to determine that an invoice is ready for write-off. So this is a decision that has to be made along with your management team. And once you reach that conclusion, then you're ready to write off the balance of an invoice. Let's look at the AR Agent Report. If you go to Reports, Customer Receivables, and click on AR Agent, this, in theory, will be the agent report that you have reviewed with your team. And let's say you determine that this balance for 3M is uncollectible, and we want to write it off, 2,179.64, which might be made off by or off several invoices, we'll create a journal entry to write off this amount. And then I'll show you how to use this entry to clear the open invoices. So to create a journal entry, we'll go to Financial, Other, and Make Journal Entries you have to have access within your role to this function in order to create a transaction. I have a general entry number set up by the system. My subsidiary, I know is US1. Currency, date, exchange rate, all those are pre-filled by the system. You can write a memo here and say, customer refuses to pay. And of course, it has to be something stronger than that, but so for simplicity purposes, I'll say that for now. So the journal entry has to credit your accounts receivable, and you have to know where the invoice is posted in the balance sheet before you come to this point. So I know my invoice is posted to account 1100, accounts receivable. And we said that the amount that I wanted to write off was 2179.64. I hope I remember that correctly. And I won't use another memo because I have a memo here already. You must enter the name of the customer in order for it to show up when you go to apply it to the customer invoices. So my second line is my, my, my bad debt account. And this is where the expense will hit on the P&L. The amount is 2179.64, which would be actually a debit. So my AR is being credited, and my bad debt is being debited. And I want to add to the second line the name of the customer as well. OK, so I have a credit to my accounts receivable for 2179.64. And I have a debit to my bad debt expense for 2179.64. Everything else looks good. I'm ready to save this journal entry. OK, so now let's go back to my customer and see if I can apply this journal entry with the write-off to the open invoices so that the invoices don't show up in the AR aging anymore. So I'm going to search for my customer 3M. And I'm going to say accept payments. If I scroll down, I can see all the invoices that 
hopefully make up the 2,179 that I just wrote off. If you go to the Credits tab, you can see your journal entry here. So this is the journal entry I just wrote, uh, created. So I will say to apply it. And this will apply it to my invoices. So if I go back to my invoices, you see that my credit from the credit tab, which is this journal entry, by me clicking on apply, it's applying it to all the invoices. And it looks like all my amounts on payment, in the payment column, I agree to my amount too. So my credit was created for the correct amount. So now that I have done this, I can click Save. And just to see what happens with this customer in my AR Aging, let's run that report again. I go into Report, Customer Receivables, AR Aging, and 3M is no longer in my aging report. So my credit to write off this invoice was posted correctly to my open invoices for the customer 3M. We hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions about any of the features described in the video or need training or support with NetSuite managers or transactions, please contact Business Solution Partners at the email or phone number on the screen. Business Solution Partners is a NetSuite partner and a management and consulting firm specializing in cloud-based system implementations. Their staff members and management team include CPAs and certified solution developers with over 25 years of experience in accounting and system implementation. Visit us at bsbny.com or follow us on Twitter and other social media.